Hello, you guys. This is the Tarot Queen Jamila. Um, I'm here to do the money and luck forecast for April for this month for, um, let's see, we're doing the Taurus. Okay, so um, this is going to be a five card spread. Um, first of all, I want to let you guys know that my website is back up. Um, I didn't realize that my um, domain had went down, so um, that is now fixed, and the link is in the video description box for a personalized reading. Um, also, if you want more money readings that are not going to be on this channel, please go and sub to my Gypsy Tarot channel. The link is also in the video description box. And so um, I'm just going to do the shuffling so we can look at the Taurus for the month of April 2016. All right, so this is a five card spread. Of course, you're going to get a final outcome, like a sort of an ending for the month of April, like an end of that cycle. Um, but we're going to look at your current financial situ situation. Um, will money be coming into the Aries life very soon? Uh oh. Um, any money opportunities that you may wish to consider more closely, and then. Um, what, who, or what project will bring in more money? Um, again, this reading is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody, so you might want to purchase a personalized reading. <clears throat> um, by the way, I do offer help with uh, money and finance as far as my spiritual services, so... Um, you can go and purchase a consultation on my website if you're having money problems. All right, so Taurus, let's look at card number one. Your current um, financial situation, um, we did get the Emperor card. So there's some sort of judgment right now surrounding um, some of you Tauruses when it comes to money. Um, there's some sort of debate or some sort of conflict. Um, the Emperor card is a major Arcana card. It's a major life event. So um, you want to keep in mind that this is a really important time. This is the spring equinox. So um, what you put out there is what you are going to get back. You reap what you sow. Um, so for you Tauruses out there, um, this is about someone being rational this is about a father figure. Um, the emperor is a judge. So there's some sort of um, issue that I'm seeing for some of you Tauruses, um, which is about self-discipline and stability. Okay. And so for this to come up in the present, this means that there may be a moment when someone in a position of authority offers to help you in any form, the more experienced hand that has come to help you may be more capable than yours protecting your loved ones is important but those in a leadership position must know how to compromise so um just beware to not be overly dependent but um i do see some sort of um legal um thing maybe perhaps that, that some of you tourists might be going through this month um you might be paying some legal fees you might be going through some court this month for this card to come in is what I'm seeing because it is a picture of a courtroom. And the emperor is a judge. So this indicates a major life um, event. Um, and I like to call these butterfly effects because there's always opportunities to um, change your life or to, you know, improve. Okay. And so, um, when a major life card comes up like this, when a major arcana comes up, it lets me know that there is something going on in that person's life that's manifesting their future. So this is actually um, why I call it the butterfly effect card. So um, the emperor in the pagan sense, you know, when he comes up in a reading, let's look at this real quick. Um, this is called following the path towards growth. So this is what the emperor wants you to do. 
<clears throat> and I feel that for some of you, you are going through this growth, but it's going to require this authority figure to show you the right way. Um, or just to offer you advice, you know. Um, card number two is will money be coming into your life very soon? And for a lot of you, uh-oh. For a lot of you Tauruses, this is really good news because you got the Elder of Pentacles. So there's going to be some sort of opportunity for financial freedom. Okay, um, but there's some other cards in here that I need to go over with you. Now, the Elder of Pentacles is obviously someone very successful. <clears throat> Financially, obviously. Um, this is wisdom in possessing things. So this is having the ability to be smart with money. You can get this money, but you are going to have to take the advice of the Elder of Pentacles. Okay, I get the sense that this is a literal person in your life offering you advice about money. And you can you can definitely manifest these things into your life, but you've got to listen to the Emperor. Um, the Elder of Pentacles is someone that can do, be smart with money. Okay, so I mean, the only way you're going to get money is if you can save money. If you can be smart with money and frugal and to know where and when to spend on what. So having the ability to know when and what to invest has a lot to do. I mean, it's kind of similar to the stock market, <laughs> to be honest with you. So um, that's a really positive card. It's equivalent to the King of Pentacles, which is a really positive card. So that is a yes for a lot of you Tauruses, okay? Um, Let's look at card number three. Um, You got the four of wands. So this is a really beautiful card. So I do see some of you Tauruses um, um, are settling down. Some of you have recently gotten married. Some of you have recently um, made some sort of commitment. Um, this card is asking money opportunities the querent may wish to ch consider more closely, though. Um, so for this card to come up, this is a very happy card, okay? So I get the sense that for some of you Tauruses, you're going to be going into maybe wedding planning. Maybe you've been thinking about um, going into, you know, um, wedding decor. Um, there's even some of you that are going into some sort of partnership with your um with your husband or your boyfriend or this your significant other let's just put it like that um there's some sort of partnership and these combined energies um are definitely going to manifest a lot of happiness because obviously the people in this card are very happy um the four of wands in the pagan deck is an event a celebration so there's some sort of um celebration you know what i think that some of you um might meet someone or maybe you'll run into a client at some sort of wedding so if you get invited to a social event make sure that you go because there's going to be some money in it for you um in the month of april i definitely say um you need you have to attend some sort of social event because it's going to bring you some sort of blessing or abundance in the month of april um so card number oh you know what just a second this one 
Um, like I said, um, just to kind of cover this, just to be clear, this is either some sort of business opportunity involving event planning or it's going to be some sort of money opportunity that you're going to run into at an event. Okay, just to clarify that. So Taurus, you've got a lot of pentacles cards in your reading, which means that you're really focused on money this month. Um, who or what projects will bring in more money? And you did get the novice of pentacles. So I think the answer in this card is going to really be in the book, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, you know what? There's a lot that I'm seeing in this card just without, um, you know, looking at it. Um, I'm seeing you doing some sort of decorating at, at an event, um, which goes along, along the lines of... Uh, blah, along the lines with this so this is for some of you Tauruses okay I can see you either um, decorating you know being a part of the planning of the decorations for weddings or parties um, or for some of you you're probably already in maybe the landscaping or the gardening industry Um, some of you might be into fashion. Um, the novice of pentacles. Yep. I wanted to make sure because though that typing is so small so the novice of pentacles um the pagan um meaning for that is give me a second guys um this is energies directed towards things So, I mean, it looks like to me, you know, just from looking at this card, you know, when I said it's got something to do with um, some sort of creativity. Okay, some sort of um, artistic expression. And it makes a lot of sense because I do know a lot of Tauruses who love um, to show their artistic expression. Um, it might be photography for some of you. Okay. Um, you might be thinking about going into photography. Now, for your final outcome, I'm a little bit concerned for some of you Tauruses. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. Because the chariot can either be a good or a bad card. Okay. Okay. This is a major life event, major life lesson coming up for you in April. Um, the chariot in the um, pagan deck means that for some of you Tauruses, um, this is about focusing energies, concentrating them on obtaining something. So um, this shows that, that you are going to be focused in on the financial aspect this month um, and it's gonna take your focus off of something else okay which is why the emperor came up so then you got the chariot so the emperor and the chariot came up um, these are both positive energies but they're also there to teach you some sort of lesson So for the chariot to come up for the future, this means that um, continue your struggle and the end in the end you seek Lila. 
Continue your struggle and the end you seek will be achieved. Honor, acclaim, and recognition are all possible outcomes for you if you do not quit. Um, so I'm showing that, um, you know, it is a positive connotation with the chariot. Um, it reveals some sort of journey, but it also reveals the struggles. There's going to be struggles is what this is saying. The chariot is all about progression, having strength of character being success, successful from actually doing the work and it also means some sort of movement or transport transportation so i get the sense for some of you tauruses um you know there's definitely going to be some movement and you're going to be busy you're going to be very busy there's hard work ahead for you um it may be resolved quickly but the chariot um is saying that you are undertaking some difficult struggles um you will possibly experience rough roads long uphill slopes dead ends and painful setbacks a good outcome is only assured if the card is upright but do not let yourself lose hope so this is all about having strength of purpose you know do you have a purpose what is your purpose are you going to fulfill that purpose in this lifetime do you really want it you know how much strength do you have um, you know, the chariot is someone of very strong character. Okay. Um, so for a personalized reading tourist, the link to my website is in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys for next month. Don't forget to, to subscribe to my Gypsy Tarot channel that's in the video description box as well. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.